Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for being here today. Uh, first, I'd like to, of course, thank and introduce our uh, distinguished panelists. Uh, first, we have uh, Professor Javid Rahman, who is the UN Special Rapporteur on the Situation of Human Rights in the Islamic Republic of Iran. Uh, we also have Dr. Grzyna Baranowska. She's joining us remotely. Uh, uh, she is a member of the UN Working Group on Enforced <coughs> or Involuntary Disappearances, WGEID. We have Ambassador Stephen Rapp, who is the former U.S. Ambassador at Large for Global Criminal Justice. And of course, Professor Melanie O'Brien, who is the president of the International Association of Genocide Scholars. Uh, I'd like to thank you all for your contributions and for your incredibly important work in seeking justice for Iranians who have lost their lives as well as that of uh, their families. I am here as the U.S.-based uh, representative of JVMI, which stands for Justice for the Victims of the 1988 Massacre in Iran. Um, I uh, would like to tell you a little bit about me. I'm currently an immigration attorney at a large firm in Washington, D.C. called Clark Hill. I work daily to defend my clients who seek refuge against persecution in their home countries. I'm a second generation Iranian American born in the United States to Iranian parents. My parents left Iran just before the revolution. So although they have not witnessed Iran under the current government, they experienced the despotism of the Shah, given that my mother was a political prisoner under his rule. I was raised exposed to the atrocities uh, and oppression imprisoned Iranians faced under Khomeini's rule and remain an advocate uh, for change. I am here uh, to, to address this critical issue regarding the Iranian government that has existed since their inception and that is the culture of impunity. This culture of impunity stems from the failure to hold Iranian officials accountable for committing crimes against their own citizenry, chief among them the 1988 extrajudicial executions and enforced disappearances of political prisoners. I want to shed light on the heinous events of 1988 uh, and the executions and how they exemplify this deeply concerning culture of impunity. The 1988 executions in Iran were a dark chapter in uh, the country's history. During that year, thousands of political prisoners, mostly affiliated with the opposition group, the People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran, PMOI, were summarily and extrajudicially executed. Based on JVMI's interviews with survivors and victims' families, the number of victims in the 1988 massacre is estimated to stand at just over 30,000, and at least 90% of the victims were members of the PMOI. The Iranian government, led by the Supreme Leader at the time, Ayatollah Khomeini, ordered this mass ex execution in a brutal and systematic manner. What makes these events even more distressing is the utter lack of accountability for those responsible. In fact, not only have those responsible not been held accountable, but many have gone on to hold influential positions within the Iranian government and currently the presidency, which is our prime example. During the 1988 massacre, Iran's president, Ibrahim Raisi, was Tehran's deputy prosecutor and a member of the Tehran Death Commission. He went on to become Iran's judiciary chief and is now the president of Iran. Most of the Death Commission members who we have identified have been promoted to senior positions in either the government or the judiciary of Iran. This disturbing culture of impunity sends a chilling message that the government can commit gross human rights violations without consequences. We are concerned that the lack of accountability for the perpetrators of the 1988 massacre by the international community emboldens the Iranian authorities to commit further atrocities against dissident protesters and political prisoners, as was witnessed during the deadly crackdown of the nationwide protest in 2022 after the death of Mahsa Jina Amini. The lack of accountability not only perpetuates a climate of fear and repression, but also undermines the very principles of justice and the rule of law. The latest statistic in the past four days is that the Iranian government has executed 15 political prisoners, bringing the total number of executions from September 23rd to October 22nd to 80 people. To address this culture of impunity, it is essential that the international community, human rights organizations, and concerned citizens speak out against these grave injustices. 
there must be a concerted effort to ensure that those who have committed uh, human rights abuses in Iran, whether in 1988 or in more recent cases, are held accountable. We believe the failure of the international community to hold the Iranian government accountable for the 1988 massacre is partly to blame for this culture of impunity that has thus come about. To date, UN member states have failed to establish a commission of inquiry to investigate the ongoing crimes against humanity related to the 1988 massacre. Thus, we urge the co-sponsors of the annual UN General Assembly Third Committee Resolution on Iran to include an explicit reference to the need for accountability regarding the 1988 extrajudicial executions and enforced disappearances in the text of this year's resolution. The resolution should, for instance, refer to the case of Iranian pro uh, political prisoner Maryam Akbari Munfarid. On October 15, 2016, Ms. Akbari Munfarid submitted an official complaint from prison where she's being held to the Iranian judiciary over the execution of her siblings in the 1988 massacre. She was subsequently put under further pressure in prison. Ms. Akbari Munfarid is currently serving the final 18 months of her 15-year sentence. She has been told that she will not be released until she retracts her calls for accountability over the murder of her siblings. And on July 1st, 2023, Ms. Akbari Munfarid was summoned to the courthouse of Ebbing Prison, where she was arraigned on five new charges, including insulting the Supreme Leader. She has since received an additional two-year sentence. The families of these victims deserve truth and justice. The Iranian people deserve a government that respects their basic human rights, and adheres to international standards of justice and accountability. We must support those advocating for change within Iran, and we must make it clear to the Iranian government that the world is watching and that impunity for gross human rights violations will not be tolerated. The 1988 massacre is not an insulated event. The effects are apparent and visible to this day. In reality, many families are currently being harassed for seeking justice for their loved ones who were taken from them in 1988. It is high time that the UN member states urgently establish an inquiry into the 1988 mass executions and enforced disappearances. States should also support the pursuit of accountability for Iranian officials who have committed major crimes that violate international law, such as the 1988 massacre and the brutal crackdowns on previous and current protests. In conclusion, the culture of impunity within the Iranian government exemplified by the 1988 executions and many other instances of human rights abuses is a stain on our collective conscience. We cannot stand idly by while injustices and suffering persist. JVMI believes that it is our moral obligation to demand accountability, to support the victims and their families, and work towards a future where human rights are upheld and justice prevails. Only by doing so can we hope for a brighter and more just future for the people of Iran. Thank you very much.